We did it, we're finished. Kind of. So after four months of pouring our heart and soul into this thing, we finally finished. We went camping in it last weekend. It was awesome. It's been a huge transformation. We can't wait to show you guys. We're not quite finished. There's a few things we have to do still, but the before and afters are huge and we really wanna share that with you. So let's go check it out. Welcome to Marge the Memory Machine. This is our dining area up here. So we made this huge wraparound couch area. We used it a ton on our camping trip. It was so much fun to eat at and play games. This table actually goes down into a California king size bed, which is bigger than the bed we have at home. So that was pretty awesome. Um, so what we did up here was obviously replace all the flooring. I painted this table. This is just a nice sheet of plywood that Jamie sanded down and routed the edges. Um, and then I painted this design on it. We also got these, I bought an actual California King mattress and we cut it up. Um, and then we wrapped it in this leather upholstery, faux leather. Um, we did no sewing in this camper because I am not a seamstress. So what we did is we cut up that mattress and then there's a really thin piece of plywood back here that we stapled this fabric to and then um, covered it a little bit. So that's how that worked without sewing. It's not perfect, but it works. Um, and then that turns into our bed. So I'm sure you guys are super interested in how this table works. So I'm just gonna show you. If you've never been in a camper before, it, it might be a mystery to you. So all we do is uh, unhook these little latches here and then this table will just push down with some force. <laughs> like that. So it just pushes down like that and then you lock it. And then we just throw our cushions on. You get the idea. And then this will become our bed. We kept the original systems up here. We thought that was a pretty cool look. Added this light. We changed that a couple times, but I'm really happy with how that turned out. Added cane. Jamie made this like rounded um, door for me that I really wanted. So that opens up. A little messy in there from our camping. I made these curtains out of a shower curtain from Target. Again, no sewing. It's a little embarrassing if you're an actual seamstress, but I just cut it and then I fabric glued it. I ironed it, but like you can't even tell, right? Maybe you can, I can't. I think it looks pretty good. So this actually just shuts for privacy at night. I just used lots of shower curtains and lots of scissors and glue, <laughs> but it looks really good. I shouldn't say that in case we want to sell it probably. So camper lights are actually pretty hard to find because they have to have their own personal switches on them. So what Jamie did is we bought these house lights, like they're just normal lights. And then he added the switch to it, which we're not plugged in, but there's a switch back here that you can buy for like a dollar on Amazon. And he just wired it up somehow magically. And now it's, it's a working light when we're plugged in. So this is just a normal light because most of the camper type lights are pretty ugly and boring. So I was able to find a, any light I wanted and just add in my own switch. And then you have to have specific bulbs. So we just bought DC bulbs for them. So I got most of my pillow covers from Amazon. They're pretty awesome. I'm like real happy with them. I'm going to link them below. This. This. That was kind of an accident. Pretty good. But I'm going to link these below because you guys are going to want these. They're pretty sweet. Look at this one. So cute. So we're going to show you the rest of the camper in a minute, but I just wanted to talk real quickly about this entire process and why it took us so long. When we bought this camper, we were a little naive to all that it would need as far as repairs. We were hoping to be able to keep a lot of the original items and just kind of uh, resurface everything, repaint everything, but Airstreams have unique problems uh, with the frame uh, because of how the camper is built. So uh, we had to address that first in order to make sure all this work we did inside would actually last long term and the camper wouldn't just crack in half. So we had to rip up all the subfloor. So it was a super painstaking process to, you know, sand down the frame and coat it with a special paint. Um, it was also expensive, um, but that's why it took us so long. Um, if you are thinking about redoing an Airstream, that's definitely one thing you should definitely research is all the different frame issues with the vintage Airstreams. All right, next we're gonna show you guys the kitchen, uh, which if you've been following along has been a really big debate. So um, you wanna show them, Sarah?
cabinets not once not twice but three times completely there's a lot of paint on these guys they were blue they were pink and now they are green Looks so up. they look awesome we're super happy with them but Jamie and I were struggling a little bit to get there but we really like how they turned out thank you guys for all your help with figuring out the green this green is called native henna by Sherwin Williams that's the color we finally landed on this awesome fridge is from, just from Best Buy, <gasps> the best part of the camper, right here, my fireplace. That was my one thing I told Jamie I really wanted, so he made it happen for me. We just got this from Rec Pro, and actually it was only like 55 degrees camping in Northern Michigan this weekend in July, and we used this thing all weekend. It was awesome. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. What do you think, huh? Here we are. Hey, I want to sit down again right there. So what we did in here is we ripped everything out. We started from scratch. We got these cabinets just from Lowe's. They're very basic cabinets. Instead of building them all out to make them all, to try to make them square was going to be way too hard. Um, so we just bought cabinets and then kind of retrofitted them in. We broke out that front part to put in the cane. We have a video on that if you guys are interested in that. We got our black sink, gorgeous. It's from Lowe's, faucet from Menards. Jamie made these awesome shelves, mostly for visual purposes because it felt really empty up here and we didn't really know. If we're camping long-term, I might use it more for actual use rather than just cute things. But yeah, so these are, this is just plywood that he routed. It was just like extra we had. And then I bought these strips of extra leather off Amazon and we just like, stapled them down here and screwed it in and they look cool so super happy with how that turned out we wanted to add a little bit of texture here this is just peel and stick tile and then of course you guys know i love my spoon flower wallpaper is the best we have more of this we're going to add in the bathroom but yeah super excited about this stuff this was like peel and stick wallpaper it works awesome i put it on the door as well coming in kind of a little sneak peek into the camper and then we got this um, simple one burner cooktop for the, um, that sinks into the counter, um, just to heat up water and mac and cheese, that kind of thing, um, tea. So that's, we use that quite a bit this weekend. So we don't have an oven in here, but we do use that a lot. And our pizza oven, of course. All right, so if there's any guys watching this, I just wanna talk about the construction part of this real quick. So we love using butcher block for renovations because it's super easy. For this, I just measured and cut out my sinkholes and plopped it in really easy. Same with the cooktop. Um, so that it's really easy to work with. It looks a little bit nicer than um, Formica and um, I just think it's a cool look. So then the other thing that we kind of had to figure out in this kitchen um, is there were some old DC wires um, which really had no function and I didn't want to bury them in the wall. So this is where the old vent hood was. Um, so what I did, so I just put some USB ports in. Um, so they actually come in kind of handy so you can charge your phone with them. Uh, also Sarah had like a diffuser for her special oils. Why do you um, put that in air quotes? <laughs> so with the crazy curves of the Airstream, um, it was quite difficult to cut perfect shapes. I'm sure if you were watching the other videos you kind of thought it looked terrible because there was like a gap this big. So I had to buy some really thick trim. I also had to buy, it was like flexible rubber trim to fit the curve of the Airstream. So. Um, that was one kind of funky thing we had to do. Yeah, but I think this kitchen turned out really great. So uh, moving on back, we have the air conditioner. Um, you saw us do that in another video, but um, that was really a big thing that will help us just be able to live more comfortably in here. So uh, this past weekend, it was really cold in Northern Michigan. So between the fireplace and then this is also a heat pump. Uh, we had it nice and toasty in here. It was actually too hot. So I'm really glad we spent that extra money to get the heat pump in this air conditioner. So then back through this room is actually Ruby and Roxy's room. We were going to try to fit a door here, but because of this air conditioner, it just didn't make a lot of sense. We were a little bit worried about noise because we wanted to be able to hang out in the front while they were sleeping at night because they go to bed early. When the air conditioner or heat is on, they really couldn't hear anything. So it was really perfect. It worked out good. So this just kind of slides shut. Yeah, but that's actually a shower curtain because I was able to find a cuter one with more texture and less expensive. One cool thing about this room back here is that this Ruby's mattress right here is actually two mattresses. So two five inch mattresses. So if we ever want to be able to um, have friends spend the night or anything, 
these mattresses will come apart and then it'll turn into a king bed of sorts or we can put one on the floor. Um, so two twin mattresses actually fit in this room. So really a ton of sleeping area. Yeah, but for now we just leave it as one because Roxy's still in a pack and play. Um, so this is Ruby's bedroom mostly. Tried to make it fun back here. We made a little TV area so if we ever want to watch movies as a family um, and chill out back here. We we're going to keep the original roll tops in here but they were actually really water damaged and made out of like a cardboard so they didn't really roll very well. So we had to kind of scrap that plan and so Jamie made these out of one by twos and our classic cane with some nice little knobs and they work really well. It turned out great. So we keep all of our clothes in here. Um, there's also all this storage here that we can keep clothes and diapers and things like that in. Yeah, so this was a really nice space for the girls and we actually hung out in here sometimes too. So one thing we did not finish yet is the bathroom. Fortunately, we stayed at a campground last weekend so they had bathrooms and showers, but this is one thing I just kind of put on the back burner for now because to be honest, I'm really exhausted and I'm working on this camper and we have other things we want to do. So for now, there's no bathroom, but uh, back here, you can just see, still empty. Someday this will be a beautiful bathroom that we'll be able to use, but um, for now, it's just extra storage, but hoping to get to this project in the next few months, but for now, it's on pause. So the only other major project left besides the bathroom is actually to polish the outside. So when we first bought this thing, it was really kind of dull and dingy on the outside. Um, and so one of the big things that needs to be done on these vintage ones is to actually polish it. And it's a huge project. Some people on YouTube threw out the number 200 hours. So um, <laughs> don't know if I'm quite ready to commit to that yet. But before we took our trip, I stripped the whole outside of the plastic coating. Um, and it actually looks a lot shinier. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and then the polishing will just make it more even and mirror-like. So, uh, but for now, we're just happy to have a camper we can enjoy and take places. So what do you think the hardest part of fixing up this camper was? Hmm. <laughs> Everything? Um, it was a big project. It was just as big, if not bigger, than a house flip. We thought maybe it would take us two months to flip because house flips typically take us about four months. So we thought, you know, give us a couple months, it'll be great, especially because we were working on it so much. Um, but it really took us just as long as most of our house flips. Um, there was just as many issues and unforeseen things that we had to, to work on. So definitely if you're planning on doing this, um, just give yourself extra time and extra cushion for finances and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, we're happy we have it, but would you do it again? I don't think I would. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, it's really cool. I'm, I'm happy how it turned out and I think we'll have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. But uh, I definitely took away from like we wanted to make more YouTube videos on it mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but it was just such a big project that when you're in the middle of it, it doesn't make sense sometimes to like stop, record, you know, make a video. Yeah, so, we just wanted um, to like kind of get through it at some mm -hmm. points because it was like, how yeah. is this taking so long? And so we didn't want to make it take longer by like adding tons of filming and stuff mm -hmm. like we had kind of planned to do originally. but. We named her Marge the Memory Machine because we hope to make tons of memories in it. We're gonna take her out this winter for a couple months with the girls out west. I'm so excited about that. It's definitely gonna be an awesome thing for us, but the last four months have been have been hard, honestly. And if you see anyone else doing Airstream renovations, you'll see they usually all say the same thing. And when we watched that stuff, we were like, no, it'll be fine. <laughs> but it's, it's tricky, it's a lot, so. Also, you may be confused because in the first video, we said we we're going to flip this camper. True. Uh, but as Sarah said, it was way more work than we thought it would be. And honestly, the amount of profit I would get per hour uh, would definitely not be worth flipping it. So you can't put a price on memories, as Sarah said. So, Aww, um, so, <laughs> so we're going to keep it, enjoy it for a while. We might sell it later in the future. Since we like making money, we may rent it out to people and like deliver it. Um, I don't trust anyone to drive it yet, but, um... Yeah, we've talked about, like, airbnb it, if we had a place mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. Um, we've talked about different options with it, but for now, we're excited just to use it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Super, it turned out great. We spent a little bit more money on this camper than we thought we would. I think, so, we paid 6800 for it, um, which is pretty cheap for an Airstream. I think our original budget was 10000 No. Yeah. 5000 I thought, for repairs. 
Yeah, I, yeah. So I think we were hoping to have like maybe twelve or thirteen into it. Was it? We clearly did not have a great plan. This is a nineteen seventy eight Airstream Savern. It's thirty one feet, so it's really big. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we were really just kind of guessing at what it would cost. Usually, when we do house renovations, we're pretty spot on with our mm -hmm. costs. But this was just a real mystery. How mm -hmm. much do we actually have into it? We paid sixty eight hundred for it. I think we have about fifteen to sixteen thousand total into it, including the purchase price. Right. So, um, and we actually have all the supplies for the bathroom. So yeah. I don't anticipate us spending too much more money. But if you go on eBay and look at Airstreams, um, there's a lot of them on there uh, this year that are in like the thirty to forty thousand yeah. range. So I think we can get at least that, especially because ours looks so cool. So, <laughs> yeah, Sarah it's did cool. a good job. She designed it. <laughs> Well, Excellently. <laughs> so if you guys are thinking about renovating an Airstream below, let us know if you have questions. Let us know if you've enjoyed our process. If you love our camper, if you hate it. Actually, don't tell us that because we worked really hard on it. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. What was the uh, size for this guy? What do we do? Mm -hmm. Still with it? But here, let, let go of it.